Hi everyone, I'm Cerise. I'm Joe. And today we're talking about wanting to give up on everything. Just walk away from it all. Be like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm done. It's finished. Or it could be like, nothing's good enough. What's the point? Why bother? I've given it so much. It's just not going to work. Who am I fooling? It'd be better for myself and everyone if I just walk away, the whole world would breathe a sigh of relief knowing that I'm no longer trying to do anything. It'd just be so much better. It makes so much sense for me to just quit. There's no point. The only thing to do is to just let it all drop. If you've ever said those things to yourself, or something like those things. Or something like those things. This video is for you. Now this is a point that has been in my life for many years. And whenever you find yourself in that mode, it feels really, really bad. It feels like your whole world becomes evidence to you that you should just stop what you're doing. You're just so not good at what you do at all. Uh, it feels like all the things you do are lies. Like you're kind of just going through the motions and it's not actually good enough and never has been good enough and everybody's just been kind of patting you on the back and saying, oh yeah, keep going. And all of the feedback you get from people you start to become critical about and you start thinking, oh, they're just being sarcastic dicks to me. It's like you're a pretender. Mm. Poser. Mm. Yeah. So when you're in that mode, everything can seem so dark and it can feel so right to want to give in and say, yeah, you know what? Nothing I do has been good enough. I've tried all of these things and it didn't work out and I've w w tried these things and that didn't work out. So that must mean that whatever I try is going to fail. Doomed. So the solution is to stop trying, just be nothing, and then I won't have to disappoint myself and other people. If I don't move myself, then I can't go somewhere wrong, right? Right? Wrong. Or... It's unfortunate because this kind of a pattern creates what in your life? It creates havoc, chaos, it creates burnt bridges and failed relationships. It creates a life of exactly what you fear, ending up with not much at all. Because you didn't see the points through. You didn't weather the storms. You didn't stick with it to the end, to see the fruition of your talents, your efforts, your labor. And in so many ways, we end up stifling ourselves and taking away our ability to create because we're too busy destroying what we're in the process of creating. So one of the things that is really relevant to look at, if this has been a pattern for you, like it had been for me, is to look at your earlier memories of when you first felt this point of powerlessness. For myself, it was when I was quite young and I was in a situation where I felt like the only thing I can do was to get away. I, my environment was abusive, I was in a situation that was not good for me, but I didn't have the tools to change who I was and within that change my environment. So I made a decision within myself out of reaction, out of powerlessness, out of desperation and basically cut ties with everything and everyone in my life and forced myself to start over with nothing. And while some of that was necessary, the unfortunate thing was because I made that choice out of that desperation, that powerlessness, the core points that led up to that powerlessness and the creation of that situation in my life never got sorted out. Because yes, I got out of it, but I ended up recreating it 
over and over and over throughout my life because the core of it was still me. It didn't matter how many times I moved to a different city, a different state, a different country. It didn't matter how many different kinds of people I brought into my life and brought out of my life again. The core was always me. And I was the one creating constantly over and over and over those points that I didn't resolve and try to solve out of getting away from it, shifting out of it. So, if you have found yourself in this loop where you begin things and then you lose hope and you lose faith in yourself and then you kind of turn the table and storm out and just walk away and get frustrated and start blaming yourself, telling yourself that you never should have tried anyway because look how hard it is, look how difficult it is, you're never going to make it. In those moments, stop and check yourself. Is this a replay of that same event that happened before in your life? Are you recreating that same pattern? And if so, stop and be open to support. If you have people in your life that can be a soundboard for you, utilize that and allow yourself to short circuit that whole pattern. And if you don't have these kinds of people in your life, we're here for you. So don't be a stranger. Don't sabotage your life. Don't let yourself be a repeating record of self-diminishment and failed choices, call it that, when really you're the one deciding to create the failure because you haven't yet learned that it's okay to succeed and what it means to create success, what it means to stand in the moments when things get tough. Reach out. We're here. Get real with us and get real with yourself. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time.